Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and it's a tutorial, something like this, almost done, not quite, but I was really inspired by some products that you probably saw in the Makeup Show Orlando haul and the products are so beautiful and I got a lot of requests to test them out because there's some new stuff in there and I thought this would be a really, really good look for New Year's holiday parties and I'm actually going away for the last couple of weeks in December and January so I wanted to make sure to sneak this tutorial in the last one of 2013 so you can wear it for the holidays, New Year's and all that so I'm just going to go ahead and talk you through it's going to be a talking tutorial I, I don't think I've done one of those in a little while so it's about time, right? so let's get started I'm going to place, place Stilo Eyeshadow Base and Medium on my lid and as you know this is like one of my favorite primers okay so now I'm going to go to my blending color. You can use any like warm brown or you know like whatever you use as your crease transition. Something that's a little bit darker than your skin tone that's got a nice little warm finish. This happens to be a Laura Geller bronzer, but I love it for um, blending out my crease. I, I prefer more warm browns. Um, you, if you like cooler, that's cool, but I just use it to just help blend and to give a nice warmth to the eye. Now we are going to move on to the lid colors and I'm going to use the Stila Metallic um, Magnific Magnificent Metal Eyes which I featured in the Orlando Makeup Show haul. I picked this up at the makeup show and they're pretty pricey. They're, they're I think $40 each but I got them for $20 because it was trade show price. And they're tricky. They're a little tricky to work with so I told you guys I would do them in a video if you wanted and some of you guys wanted me to do it. So this is the look I came up with. So Here's the deal with these. First, I'm going to put this um, metallic Marlowe color, which is really pretty. Um, I noticed that my, out of my two shades, this one's a lot more wet in consistency, and this one's a lot more dry. I don't know why, but they're a little tricky to work with. You get your little Stila um, liquid eye primer right here. So here's what I would recommend that you do. Take a little bit and put it in the little steel pan that comes with it. And you have to get the right amount of wetness with the eye, the eyeshadow because if it's too wet or too dry it won't work. I happen to use um, a synthetic brush like this is a Sedone Lace um, synthetic shader or you can use your finger. So you dampen the brush I just dampen it on here and then I dip it into the shadow and then what I did next is I put it and I just kind of like mix it all together or you could do it with your finger. I find that it's actually a little easier with your finger because you can feel how wet it is but I'm going to do a brush just to show you. Let's see which side did I put it on. And then I just pat it on so as you can see it's really wet. So this is going to be my lid color. You could use it um, dry but I think it works out better and is more vibrant when it's wet. This is going to be the base color on your lid and then I'm going to do something a little bit different for this color which is metallic dusty rose. This one's crazy because when I opened it up look what happened. It totally separated into these little chunks and a whole bunch got on the lid. So I don't know how I feel about that because it was a really expensive product but what I do is I just take a little bit of the liquid primer and I take my clean ring finger and get some on my finger and then I'm just going to plop it onto the cap because um, I want to like kind of just lightly pat this on because it's super vibrant. You can even put a little bit and test it on your hand. So here's my swatches. So now I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to dot it onto the lid. And I don't want it to cover the metallic color completely. I just want to kind of give a little bit of a glitter effect. Okay, so as you can see you get this really intense like glitter ball eye. But it's not glitter, it's like this these little tiny foiled shimmers on your eyes. And make sure you have a wet wipe because it gets messy. So now we're going to help blend that out a little bit more. So what I'm going to do first is go back to that crease transition color. And I'm going to pop it right above it. So that way it's not such a harsh line. And then I'm going to dip into this really, oh my god, gorgeous eyeshadow. It's 
Mehron's Red Earth. It's an intense pro color. It is amazing. Like, it's totally on my favorites list already. So I'm going to take uh, a crease brush. So I just want to deposit this where I need it. This is the um, Sedona Lace Lux Essentials Crease Brush from my new collection for Sedona Lace. Tap it on and it's so pigmented so just be careful. So now I'm just literally just going to draw this where I need to go. Where I want it to go which is above the crease. Now, as you can see the great thing about this brush is it's got a long thinner head. So you can get the color where you want it but still blend it out. So it's not like the universal blender where it's like more dense and fluffy. This is concentrated blending. And it's a really intense color so it's good to have a smaller brush so you don't get it all over the place. I'm going to go to an oldie but goodie. This is Max Stars and Rockets eyeshadow which is gorgeous and it helps bring in a little bit more purple into my look. So I'm going to take my universal blender, get just a little bit on. And now we're just going to go right over that kind of tree crease transition. And it's going to give a tiny bit of a purple effect to the look. So it's really fun and really vibrant. Like that. Okay, and then we can add a little bit more smoky once we get our lashes on. So let's go ahead and do the eyebrows. So I'm going to dry my brows. I'm going to fill it in gently. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter brown, which is from my Kevin O'Quinn Brunette Brow Pencil. And then fill it in even more. Okay, now we're going to set everything, kind of blend everything together with Center Brow Fix and Golden Brown. This will lighten it up just a smidge. Okay, now to clean up the brow a little bit, make it nice and sharp, I'm going to take, it's a Ben Nye kind of like concealer crayon. It's a neutralizer cream crayon and ultra light. Make sure it's nice and sharpened and go right underneath. You can take any product that's kind of like this. They have a ton of them now. And then I'm just going to blend that out and it's going to clean up the brow and act as my highlight as well. And now I'm going to set that with just any light brow shade. This is a cream color from Sonia Tasha from the Neutral Palette and it just kind of coordinates with the um, concealer and it'll just keep this area lighter and it's matte which I think we kind of need because we got shimmer everywhere else. Alright so now we're going to line. I'm going to use my Alcone Perfect Liner Pen which is my holy grail liquid liner right now. I'm just going to do pretty much a line so that way my lashes have something to adhere to. So nothing special, just a little tiny wing like I always do. And then we're going to move on to lashes. I'm using House of Lashes Noir Fairy, which is like a really popular lash now. I've totally heard of it on Instagram. I really love it because it's so dramatic. So I'm going to pop it on and be right back. Alright, so lashes are on. Now I'm going to go ahead and kind of finish the eye and then come back to it. So we're going to throw um, a black liner and a waterline. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm going to put a black on the waterline, and this is Max Molder. I will come back to the eyes because I like to do my foundation and concealer and then set um, the waterline so it's not all covered up by foundation. So we're going to go ahead and use a little bit of a wet wipe to clean up. Now we'll go to the foundation. I'm just going to show you what I will use and then I'll speed through. But I'm going to use my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation in um, 857, which I think is called Golden Tan. Yeah, Golden Tan. Because now that I'm a little paler, this is like the perfect match for me again. And it's full coverage and when you have a glam eye, you want um, full coverage face just because it kind of just is a glam look. Let's see, we're going to use our Ben Nye Neutralizer Cream Crayon and Medium Slash Tattoo Cover as my corrector like always. And then to highlight, I'm just going to use what's handy and what's handy is the, um, I think it's Physicians Formula Yellow Gentle Cover Concealer. And then to set, I'm going to use my NYX Grinding Powder in True Beige, which I really love. I'm going to use my Sleek Face Contour Kit in Medium. That's what I have handy. 
Okay, so I applied um, my foundation, concealer, highlight, and contour, and now I'm going to go over everything just with a fan brush from my Sedona's Vortex Collection and just a little bit of powder. And honestly, I'm just going to run it over everything because I want to make sure everything's blended nicely and not too crazy strong. Okay, so now I didn't do blush and in my head I was like, you know what, I don't think I need blush because I'm actually going to do a really strong um, eye and lip. So instead I'm just going to take the highlight that came in the medium contour kit from Sleek and this is my um, cheek brush from the Lux Essentials which makes the perfect highlight brush and I'm just going to highlight a whole bunch so that way I kind of have color on my cheek from the contour and that gives me color and then I have highlight so I might place a little bit more contour I'm going to use my dome contour brush from the Vortex Collection and just really get that color in there and I'm kind of like blending it up into the cheek region but you don't need a blush per se. Okay, good. All right, so the last thing is the lips. So you can do a nude lip, of course. So let's just say we want to do a nude lip. You know, I could be lazy and just throw on like a nude gloss. This is Dior Ultra Glow in 236, one of my go-to peachy colors. So. So here is a nude option, easy breezy. I am, um, a lot of times when I go out in public, I'll just do a nude because my lips are so dry and sensitive that it's hard to maintain a fabulous lip color. And this is really comfortable and easy on the lips. But for the purpose of the tutorial, and because it's New Year's, we're gonna go all out. So let me take this off. And I'm gonna go for a dark lip because it's kind of like a whole vampy look. So first I'm gonna line and I'm gonna use this is the Black Opal Plumberry. I love these Black Opal lip colors for a vampy kind of shade. So you know how everybody's rocking um, Night Moth? Like these are just as good and they're comparable to like that kind of color. So I'm gonna line first. Now I didn't go on as dark because my lips still have a little bit of moisture on them. But we can add more if we want to. So I'm gonna use a brand new lip color. And recently I did an event with um, Denise and Janice Tunnel, who are um, amazing um, celebrity makeup artists, and they're twins, and they have their own line, Illusions Cosmetics, and they are amazing, amazing people. They've done, like, everyone from Beyonce to Carrie Washington to, like, like anyone you can think of. So they're really awesome, and they gave me their line of lip lipsticks after we did their A Charlotte um, event together. So I decided to pick this color, which is, like, the perfect vampy lip color. It's called Fashionista. And their colors and their liner are amazing. I'm gonna do a complete review on my blog. So I thought, like, you know, like it could really like just tight in the eyes. And we're gonna apply it right now. Okay. I really like this color. It's like a mix between Max Diva and Cyber, like right in the middle. So pretty. So this is my New Year's look. Let's go ahead and finish off the look with Skin and Name and Makeup Finishing Spray. Because it is New Year's and you know you're going to be lasting all night long. Hopefully your makeup will last all night long. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. This lash keeps popping up. Whew. I was using a not so good lash glue. But make sure to use a good one. Oh my god, I totally didn't finish the bottom. Girl. Okay, so let me um, hurry up and do the bottom. It's so crazy right now. Um, let me just take this red earth shade and get a little bit underneath oh my god you can almost finish the tutorial without finishing it you gotta bring color on in my opinion onto the lower lash line because it ties off the look i'm using just a tip so that way I can get a nice little concentrated color deposit. And then I'm going to go into Stars and Rockets and go right underneath it to help blend it out. And give a little bit more of that iridescent purple sheen again. Wow, that really, doesn't that really like, 
finish it off and make it like even more special. Such a fun look. So there's a lot of color, but hopefully if you're wearing a black dress or like a solid color, gold, metallic, you could totally rock this. Girl, this lash. Ugh. So this is the look. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, if you don't want to do such a dark, dark, you can do a nude lip. That's totally fine. But I will have all the products and pictures of this look on MakeupByRenRen.com. And I hope you guys have a fabulous New Year's. I will be in China, so I won't be here. But please follow me on Instagram because I won't be blogging or YouTubing while I'm in China. But I will be Instagramming and um, posting pictures. So... Um, that's it. So I hope you guys have a happy new year and I'll see you in 2014. Until next time, ciao bellas.